drought. Everybody needs to do their part. This is very, very serious. But some celebrities are using more water than allowed. These people aren't getting the message, right? They're not. They've been warned and even fined. It's all in a list obtained by CBS2. Which A-list celebrities are on the list? Do you think these people just don't care about saving water? CBS2 investigates Tuesday on CBS2 News at 11. What's the mission? I explore. Hit it. Start TV features so many acclaimed series, you won't want Start to stop. Ma, turn it back on! Start TV on broadcast channel 2.2 and these providers. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I've never been more ready in my life. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <laughs> oh, call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. We'll be there before you hang up the phone. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News This Morning at 7. Good morning, everyone. I'm Rachel Kim. I'm Michelle Medina. Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 8 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I should say 8 o'clock. It's not 8 o'clock. Where Seven. are we? <laughs> I'd like it to be 8 o'clock. I see that. I'm like, huh? She's moving the morning along. Yeah. Right. Wouldn't that be nice some days? But it's the weekend you probably want to enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So glad you're right here with us. Okay. First things first, we want to start with a check on our weather with Alex Biston this morning. Alex, how's it looking? Hi. Good morning, Michelle and Rachel. It is Saturday. Not eight o'clock. It is not at eight o'clock. <laughs> it is seven o'clock on this Saturday. Good morning. And you know what? I, I just took a, a step outside. Uh, it's overcast. I mean, we're in the valley. So, yeah, we're seeing a gray sky to start off the morning. We're seeing that here, too, uh, out toward LAX. So once we head into the afternoon, yes, we will see a little bit more sunshine with temperatures a lot like what we felt yesterday. It's going to be warm. We're talking 70s along the coast, 80s across LA and Orange County with 90s in the valleys, the Inland Empire, and very close to hitting uh, that century mark up across the high deserts with lower 80s in the mountains. So hot temperatures continue this weekend. Plus, we're going to add a little humidity in the mix as we head into the middle of the week. So we'll talk details coming up very soon. For now, back to you. All right, Alex, we are following some breaking news this morning. A deadly crash ends in flames. Three people died after a car crashed into a pole caught fire around 245 this morning in Orange. Happened near the intersection of Taft and Griselle Street. Four people also taken to the hospital, and three of them are minors. All but one are considered to be in critical condition. We are learning more about what led up to that crash, but right now we know that the car was being followed after a traffic stop. We're going to update you as soon as we get more information. The battle for abortion rights continues. Activists plan to hold a protest this afternoon in Hollywood as part of an ongoing nationwide call to restore legal abortion. CBS 2's Tina Ezzedine is live at Hollywood and Highland, where the protest is scheduled to take place. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Rachel. So this uh, rally set to take place at 1 o'clock this afternoon, Hollywood and Highland, as you mentioned. Essentially, this is just part of an ongoing chorus uh, of uh, rallies and protests that are taking place throughout the country. This one taking place here, but across major cities throughout the country, many of these are also being held in conjunction today. This coming after the uh, Supreme Court issued an executive in the states where clinics are still open, essentially to protect them from intimidation and to protect access to reproductive health care services. Here now is a closer look at exactly what this executive order will do. It will expand access to abortion, medication. It will protect online privacy and access to contraception, provide legal help for patients and providers, and also protect the right to travel out of state. Here now is the president. The only way to fulfill and restore that right for women in this country is by voting. We need two additional pro-choice senators and a pro-choice House to codify Roe as federal law. Your vote can make that a reality. 
You're looking at video from uh, previous rallies and protests. This one that you're looking at from July 2nd held. Uh